good day everyone my name is Ahmed Kawil and this session is about how to use ANSYS clone from the cluster uh, we're gonna use ANS, uh, the cluster of the universal part of fire so the the files that we need actually to have uh, uh, to run a case of uh, uh, any case in ANSYS clone uh, from ANSYS clone on the cluster is actually the case and data file from the clone and something called journal find and another thing called uh, shell file so the first thing is the case and data file from clone so let me show you how we can do this so this is my windows uh, i have uh, an, a case that i have already done uh, everything is done the settings everything is done uh, the geometry is uh, drawn the mesh is uh, ready and the uh, setup I did all the setup and even I run for some iteration uh, so we go to file uh, and then we go to uh, export uh, and we export the case and data file so we select the location for our case so in this case let's select download and then we write for example the name example and then we click ok this way we are gonna have uh, if we went to download we are gonna have the example which is the first one is the case file and the other one the second one is the data file so now we need to move this these files to the cluster so I, I use when uh, scp uh, and then if I logged in this is my actually so uh, this is my uh, the directory uh, it has a uh, old file so I just need to move this new two files which is called example case and data I'm sorry case and data I just move them and put them here on my directory so now I have my files on the cluster uh, from the uni uh, and this is the first step so now if we go down we are gonna find the case and data file of my case so this is the first thing which is the easiest step uh, the case and data files of the cloud then something called journal file so what is journal file? journal file is actually uh, the command that you are giving ANSYS clone to do to initialize or start your case and then write the data or write the case that you have done so the first thing is actually so uh, which is read case uh, this rc is read case and then i put the where is the location of my case so here it is uh, home and then this is my username uh, which is my directory and then this is the name of the file that i'm gonna use so here if we went here we're gonna see that the next the first file is home and then this is my username uh, and then we have several files and the file is actually on under my username in the in my directory so this is the way and then we either can actually so I'm sorry so we can actually if initiate the the case if we want or we can actually read the data so the ancestor clone can actually continue after the iteration that I have done in my uh, personal PC so we can either uh, iterate it uh, manually or uh, did uh, do the hybrid iteration then we put the number of iteration that we are looking for and then this is uh, write the case so we set the location for the case that we're gonna write and then ansys clone is gonna ask you uh, do you want to overwrite if you have the same file and you just put yes and then uh, this is write the data file and then the same location and then he can ask you to overwrite and then you say yes and the final thing is uh, to exit the account and then uh, he he will ask are you sure and then we say yes yeah. so this is the very simple journal file but we can do several like several commands but the easiest way to actually see if you are doing it correctly is actually to use the uh, these commands on ANSYS clone 
on the cluster so I can show you how to do this so this command is actually how we can actually access the cluster so this is the first line is actually how to submit a job uh, for one hour uh, to the in the mid cluster so then we gonna ask the cluster to actually open the, the prompt so let's just copy this one and then here we go to so uh, we I use mobile uh, extreme uh, and then I just run. this is my way to log in just write my password and under my username uh, to the uh, the cluster of the university of Arkansas. so so we copied the the line on the cluster and then we just press ok and then we have uh, this is the number of the job that we that assigned to us and then it says that the job is actually ready and then the other command line would be actually saying the location of the software and what software we're going to use so this is version 19 r2 or, and we also have 21 r2 so you can just put the 21 r2 and then and it's gonna open this one you just put the number of processors uh, we asked for 16 so we put 16 and this is double precision and 3d because our case will be 3d So now ANSYS uh, client has opened, we can start testing our uh, journal file line by line. So the first line is actually to read our case. So read case and then space and then we put the location of our case which is home and then my user name and then the name of the file, uh, the name of the case and put enter and it's gonna start reading the case. The other thing we can do, it, it depends on your case, is either to if you, uh, initialize the, your uh, case or actually read the data file. So we can write read data file and then, I'm sorry, uh, read, read data file and then put the location. And put enter and it start, it's gonna start reading the data file and then uh, or you can actually you would like to initialize your case here uh, you didn't initialize it in your uh, setup uh, in your uh, local pc so you just solve initialize and then initialize this is for uh, manual initialization or you can actually do the hybrid initialization by solve initialize hybrid initialize then this is uh, so our case is initialized then we can start solving uh, the number of iterations we can for this case i'm just gonna write one but it depends on your case uh, the number of iterations is actually your selection you, you need to know when you expect your case to be uh, converted it's gonna take some time And it's finished. So the next thing is actually to write our case and then write our data file. So the first thing we can we gonna do uh, the write the case file and then we gonna put the location for our directory directory uh, and the name of the case file is example dot case and we put uh, now it's gonna ask you we have the same file so it's okay to override and then you put yes and then okay and start gonna start to override that's why we have yes here because this is a way you actually you need to know what kind of question that answer clone will ask you and you have 
to have the answer in your journal file so it can go through uh, without actually having error so now it's done and then we can write the data file so write data file and then we put the location and example dot data and it's gonna ask you we have the same one do you want to overwrite and put yes and then okay now it's gonna write your data file so the next thing is actually so we did everything now we can just say exit and it will ask you you just and it exists actually you don't need to say yes so this way we actually tested our journal file our journal file is good so how to put this journal file in our cluster so uh, there is a very easy command first thing i'm just gonna clear the screen okay here we can just put the uh, uh, nano and then let's say we have a file we need to create a file called example dot so, uh, which is uh, for journal file so for journal file we need to put the num uh, the name after the name dot g j o u and we just need we can actually copy this one and put it here uh, of course i need to for example delete all of this and align and then let's say this is 800 so after everything is finished we just save the file and that's it so now we have uh, an example uh, a journal file called example and if you need to modify anything or, or check if you have it just write again nano example dot journal file so you're gonna find the the thing that you wrote with everything so you just go up so now we finished our journal file and the next thing is actually our uh, shell file so there is a different uh, command that you can actually check so you can just pause the video and uh, read this uh, slide but uh, this is an example of our uh, of our shell file so the first line is uh, just write it like uh, the same and the second uh, line the same so uh, the third line uh, the small n is uh, for mail and you ask for a b e which is so uh, just gonna show you here so uh, abe will say for abe it means that uh, you're gonna get an email uh, on a port and begin and end uh, which is a good thing to know when your uh, case started uh, and when it's gonna finish and if there's anything uh, it's gonna tell you and then the capital m uh, okay and then the capital M uh, and this is my email so this is the email that the cluster will send me an email to if there is anything and then uh, JOE which is uh, I'm telling just to specify that the output and the error streams should be kept separate or merged so in our case OE it's gonna be merged and then uh, I specified the number of nodes this is uh, L not I uh, L, L small so uh, number of nodes just one node uh, and uh, number of processors are 16 for our case is 16 and then uh, the whole time uh, this is the time that you need on this uh, node and you should specify uh, the, the shorter the time the higher the probability that you you you're gonna start very fast uh, and like with the queue because there is something called queue so uh, if the, big, the case is big the queue will delay your case until you have we, they have enough sources to run your case uh, so let's say our simulation will not take maximum three hours so we just put six hours just to make sure that everything is right and then this is uh, so other uh, clusters just write module load and but in our case uh, our cluster we just need to tell uh, say this command which is soft ansys.inc uh, 
uh, V1920 which is the version 2019 clone bin clone and then we are gonna ask for 3D because our case is 3D uh, DD this is for double uh, precision and then uh, this is actually a mistake I'm sorry uh, this will be 16 because we asked for 16 here so we gonna put the number of processors here uh, but this is a parallel processing and it's gonna be 16 and then this is actually the journal file that we actually wrote in so it's called uh, example dot uh, journal which is we just did the in the last command so this is our shell file uh, we can just copy this shell file go here create a shell file called example dot sh it should have dot sh at the end so we just copy and then paste it here uh, we have everything written I think there is a problem here so, we just put negative C and that's it and we just go out and yes and then go so now we have our uh, journal file and we have our shell file and we just need to submit our case to the cluster so to submit it's very easy you just put queue sub which is submission to the queue and then we put our shell uh, file which is called example.sh and we just press ok now we get the number of our uh, case and then we can actually we either get an email that our case is started or we just put queue stat which is to to see the queue of the the cluster and if the, our case is running or not so let's say here this is our case uh, and it is r is for running and it's running in the main uh, so for my case i just i don't need it run now so i can delete it if i want so it's q delete del and then we write down the number of our case and click OK and now our case is deleted if we go to start again you're gonna see that this is C for complete so our case is completed and uh, there is nothing it's run now and that's it thank you for listening